Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where you boys always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, guys, the San Diego Padres want a piece of this Blue Jay catching pie. Is there a trade that's about to happen? We're about to get into it, guys. Before we do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, today, Jays is the code for BetStamp. Link is in the description. If you love betting, you want to download BetStamp. All right, so there was an article released by The Athletic that talked about the San Diego Padres' need for a catcher. Mm -hmm. They were looking at the Oakland Athletics catcher, Sean Murphy, yep. but then you obviously got the Toronto Blue Jays that got three juicy catchers for sale. Nick, what, what, did, that, uh, what did that article say? Yeah, so this was written by Ken Rosenthal, and it was all about everything that he's hearing on the hot stove right now. So this is stuff that's going about, and basically he came out and said when referencing Sean Murphy and the three Blue Jays catchers that the Padres under former A's manager Bob Melvin likely have current interest in him as well. Now, they're talking about Sean Murphy, but they're also referring to those three Blue Jays catchers, basically insinuating that the Padres, they're interested in making a play here on the catching trading market. We have a lot of them. Since that information broke a few weeks ago, the Blue Jays are looking at shopping one of Kirk, one of Moreno, one of Danny Jansen. There has been a plethora of potential suitors, mm -hmm. uh, and this is the first time that I hearing about the potential San Diego Padres yeah. hopping into this conversation. Yeah. Who do they currently have at catcher on their team right now? Does this make sense to you with well, what they got? Well, yeah, actually kind of. Well, they got Austin Nolo has been there for a few years now, but Austin Nolo is getting a little bit older. He's 32 years old, and you can imagine he's on his rookie year, or rookie deal still, but it is coming to wow. the end. It is coming to the end. He is a good player. I mean, career 263, batting average uh, 731 OPS, not bad. Not bad for a catcher. But he is getting old and he is getting it might start declining a little right. bit his last year wasn't as productive then they got Luis Camposano who's a 24 year old I mean he's exciting because he's young mm. but the bat is just not there at all yeah. he's a, he has a career 188 batting average so like just not good enough so if they want to increase that lineup that power that, mm. that batting average in that lineup look no further than the Toronto Blue Jays because their but their offense was not that good last year yeah so sliding in one of these catches that we have in their lineup every day that can certainly help out a lot I think they're looking to probably improve that position because those guys just not as good yeah, as yeah and and I have heard that like the Padres are still kind of high on that Louie dude but at the end of the day yeah. like if we're dangling a Gabriel Moreno yeah. in front of you like I think that the, you know clearly like one carrot is better than the other yeah. in this situation like, like so. he had some good moments last year a good walk off moment but you know he hit 250 but the OPS yeah. of 593 like not that's just enough. not good enough not good enough and especially when you do it's, have like guys like Moreno and Alejandro Kirk who you know laugh at stats like that <laughs> yeah I think you're definitely more interested. Yeah, yeah. So if Ken Rosenthal's talking about it, obviously we got to talk about it. We've already discussed a potential trade going on with Cleveland. We've looked at some stuff with St. Louis. The Padres are an interesting one, though, guys, because their farm system is basically completely depleted. Yeah. There is really yeah. not anyone in their farm system that I'm interested in giving up one of our guys no, for. No. And frankly, there's not a whole lot of like farm guys for the Blue Jays that I want anyways. I want real players on the MLB uh, uh, field right now today that can help us win in positions of need. Who do you got coming back to the Blue Jays mm -hmm. if we were to trade potentially one of these boys? Well, I think a lot of rumors have already started talking about this one player here, and that's Trent Grisham. Mm. Now, I know if you look at the numbers, and you look at the numbers before, yeah. they're not they're not sexy. But they're let's not talk, sexy. But let's talk about it, okay? So, he has a career, like, batting average. It's only 222. The OPS of 711. It's not sexy. But this fills a bit of Toronto Blue Jay need. He's a left-handed bat, mm. right? He's a two-time gold glove winner in four years. So he is crazy good in the outfield. Okay. He'll take over for center field for George Springer, move George over to right field. Right. Um, he's got three years left on his deal, and he's still 25 years old. So yeah. if the Blue Jays know a way to fix his bat around, get him a little bit better, that's a good reset. You are sacrificing a lot of the bat, but I, that's why I don't think it's just going to be Trent Grisham in the deal. There's going to be right. other guys around, like some pitchers. Yeah, yeah. Field. And and for a dude like mm. Trent Grisham, um, like what? Which which catcher do you think is going back? Oh my here? God! Well, first like, is, is this a Danny Jansen thing? This like, is honestly, guys. We'll, we'll talk about a package in a bit, but like it's only going to be Danny Jansen. Yeah. Like, but here's the thing: I don't know if the Padres want to do that. Danny's got two years left on the deal. Mm. I mean, you basically have Nola. I have like one or two years left on his deals. So right. Like, it doesn't feel like it makes a lot of sense okay. for him to be trading a Gold Glover, a two-time Gold Glover, over like just for Danny Jansen. Yeah. Um, but. 
I feel like if you maybe could trade a Kirk, you could add on a bit of some bullpen help. Mm. And they do have a couple guys in the bullpen. But again, I don't know if the Padres want to be trading their bullpen because it's not even like it's they have that they're that deep. Okay. In bullpen, okay. Well, let's, right? who, who do they who do they have available though? Like who so could we acquire? One guy, they have a 35 year old Louis Garcia who's on his last year. He's mm. getting paid 3.75 million dollars. Pitch for a 3.39 ERA, a decent strikeout ratio. Right. Uh, 72nd uh, percent tile in the entire league. So that's an option they want to chip off. They also do have this young, juicy rookie guy. Mm. Just came up last year. He pitched 50 innings in his rookie year in the bullpen, which is innings, quite yeah. a lot. Yeah. And for a 306 ERA, so you have five more years of control on this guy. I think that's a guy the Blue Jays would definitely want to take and make him a little project. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely kind of like your Swanson mold, right? Who the Blue mm -hmm. Jays did just go ahead and acquire right there. For me, listening to some of this, um, and, and this is, like, I have a love-hate relationship with this because, frankly, I hear some of these players, it's not sexy to me, but Trent Grisham, in my opinion, from the way that we described him, looking at his slash line, looking at what he can accomplish in the field, this is like a younger Jackie Bradley Jr. to me. This is a guy who can, you yeah. know, bats left, he's got incredible defense, he's not going to be amazing, he'll probably bat eight or nine for you, yeah. but you're definitely going to notice him in the field. Mm -hmm. And... I don't necessarily love him. You know, it's like, I want somebody better than that. I want to have a Brandon Nimmo. I want to have an Andrew Benintendi. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know that the Blue Jays love yeah. guys like this. Oh, they do. But in, but for this exact reason, like you were saying, I don't think this is a good fit for the Toronto Blue Jays. Like, the Padres are not. Because they have a lot of... They have good starters that they want to hold on to, right? Yeah. You know, you've got your... Um, you got your... Uh, uh, you, you Darvish. You know, you've got Joe your... Musgrove. Joe Musgrove. Yeah. you got your Blake Snell. Like, they're going to keep oh, those I don't know guys. if they want to hold on to Blake Snell, bro. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I want that. Yeah, well, you know, he's still got potential in that arm. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But regardless, like, mm. they're not going to be trading any of those guys away. They're not going to trade away their superstars. They're not going to trade away any of their depth. These are the only pieces that they could. And I don't know if I want to ship off one of our big catching pieces for a guy who's, like, like you just said, Jackie Bradley Jr., but younger. Yeah, it feels like the Padres are in a situation right now where they've shot a lot of their bullets. Yeah. And a lot of the dudes that they have on their team right now, they probably want to hold on to. Now, the one guy that I was looking at where I'm like, okay, this is a dude who we might be able to swing something for. It feels like you're kind of putting a square into a circle a little bit, but I think that there could be something there. If they were interested in trading away a Jake Cronenworth, uh, I knew you were going to say that. That's some. That is. A, yeah. That is a type of player where it's of like course. I feel like we could make a deal go around because he's got incredible infield versatility. He plays all of those positions basically. He is a very talented mm -hmm. bat. He's got a few years left. That's kind of the deal. Like if we were to trade like a like a Kirk or a Moreno or something like that. Give me a Jay Cronenworth, and then give me one of these bullpen guys, right. and now maybe we can talk a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that that would definitely be more ideal, obviously, in my mind. I'm yeah. not sure. Is he a lefty or a righty? That's a great question, actually. Is Somebody comment might. down below. Someone comment down below. I wish I had it on top of my head, yeah. but if he's a lefty, it's like, okay, all right, I'll smash it. Yes, exactly, You know what I mean? You know? But, uh, but yeah, for me, it, it just doesn't feel like a good matchup, because why would they want to trade away Jay Cronenworth? That's the you thing. I mean? That like, is why? the thing, right? So it's like, you know, they want something from us. I don't know how much value they're going to give right yeah. here. Uh, but, folks, let us know your projected deals from the Padres in the comments down below. This is kind of what we have mapped out here. Maybe there's something else going to brewing, though. Maybe they mm -hmm. have something else going on here that we're just not privy to. So you let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also, $3 a month to become a Patreon member. Shout out and thank you to all of our current Patreon members. You guys, let us know if you want to come on the Wine on Wine. We'll have you on. Love you. Call in. Thank you so much for watching. And go, go Jays, go! go!